Okay, guys, so how are you doing? First off, I apologize to anybody if I offended you with the statement about the, you know, the machining or compression. That's not my intention. You got to realize I don't really have a filter. I just say what I, I feel and I give you my opinion. But I also make fun of myself and tell you that I'm an idiot. So it's not, it's not malicious. With that said, I'm not going to move off of this. Uh, it's not even an opinion. It's a fact. You, you need compression to get good torque to build saws for these production guys, loggers, wildfire guys, legit fallers. The 130 PSI deal isn't going to cut it, no pun intended. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings with that. I'm trying to help. So these are all saws that I built that have between 185, 195. Uh, I don't do the real high compression. I know some people do. That's just not how I build a saw. Everybody's different. But these are big bars, 32 inch bar. That's 500 I with 32 inch bar. And that's what the guys that buy saws for me, that's what they want. They want a, the smallest saw possible. Like that's a 462. I do quite a few of those. 32 inch bar, 185 PSI. And these videos are showing that these saws are making big cuts. Uh, they'll bog down a little bit and all that. That's fine. Uh, people, I think, are scared to show their saw bogging down or stalling out. You know, guys, in the real world, these saws stall out a lot. I mean, you make a cut, especially with when you're bucking, it's easier. But when you're falling a tree, like you get bound up, you're cutting across the grain and everything. It's, it's different. But uh, I cut all hardwood, big cuts, and I'm getting sent videos from guys that are trying to, like, teach me a lesson or something of 90 cc saws running like pop can size twigs they're cutting with a 20 inch bar i just don't understand it and uh i didn't realize this was a whole argument but my whole point is that i'm here to help i am not here to argue or hurt anybody's feelings until somebody can show me one of these saws on video never cut never edit take a compression 130 i'll even give you to 140 psi cold Throw a plug in it, start it up, you know, warm it up, make a cut with a 36 inch bar and a big cut, bury it. That's all I've wanted to see from the beginning, but nobody will show me this. And that's where I kind of draw the line. Like, I'm not going to sit here and argue. I'm not one of these guys that wants to argue. There are people that just want to argue for the sake of arguing. That's not me. And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm probably going to lose subscribers over this. I know people are upset about it. That wasn't my intention. I'm even willing to do a couple cylinders for the right people in the right situation just to show the difference for free guys how's that for a statement like i want to help you guys out i want you guys to be able to build better saws i was taught by someone that knew a hell of a lot more than me and i listened i think people's pride is getting in the way swallow your pride you gotta know in the back of your head that something ain't right and i honestly think that someone fed you guys full of shit that you trusted because they didn't want you to be able to build a saw as good as them because there are people like that, and that is shitty. I don't want to see that. I don't want people to get taken advantage of. And if you guys want to build a better saw, let me show you there, there's a better way. Um, not saying my saws are the best or they're game changers or anything like that. But they get ran by legit badasses that know what's up. And because someone taught me. I'm not saying I invented these builds or anything, but... Just know that, okay, guys? I'm not out to hurt feelings. I'm not out to argue. But until someone can show me on video one of these saws doing what they can claim it can do, uh, I'm, that's really the end of this argument. I'm not going to go any further with it. So until then, you know, I'm sorry if I offended you. It wasn't my intention. I'm here to help, guys. I really am, truly.